still no answers tonight from the Pennsylvania Department of Health regarding concerns that nursing home residents are being marginalized in the state's fight against COVID-19. Last night, our investigation showed family members, a nursing home owner, even a U.S. senator expressing concerns over less testing at some facilities where our most vulnerable residents live. 11 Investigates' Angie Moreski has this update. Our investigation showed a stark difference at times with what the state says publicly about making nursing homes a priority and what families and some nursing home owners experience privately. From difficulty getting tests and personal protective gear to a lack of transparency, there is growing frustration. And while other states in our region are taking action to help nursing homes, Pennsylvania is refusing to answer questions. In the fight against COVID-19, a check of the state's neighboring Pennsylvania shows a more targeted focus on nursing homes. West Virginia just announced it plans to test every single nursing home patient for COVID-19. The state of Maryland established strike teams to help with testing and clinical care. Virginia has set up a nursing home task force. New York just opened a hotline for nursing home complaints to be investigated by the attorney general. And Ohio is ordering all nursing homes to report positive cases to residents and staff within 24 hours, something Pennsylvania has yet to do. Meanwhile, uh, we certainly have prioritized uh, the vulnerable population. Despite repeated public statements that nursing homes are a priority, the state announced it has stopped regular inspections at long-term facilities and is outsourcing oversight to a consultant company called the ECRI Institute. It is very irresponsible in my mind not to test. The owner of Paramount Senior Living says the state advised him to stop testing in one facility with five cases and just presume all residents are positive. The comment that was made was that uh, let's not let's not waste supplies. Brighton Rehab in Beaver County, the center of a major outbreak with more than 50 cases and at least three deaths, said it made a decision in consultation with the State Department of Health to no longer count or report positive tests. It feels like they're withholding information. When we asked about the state's guidance to Brighton at a public briefing, Health Secretary Dr. Rachel Levine would not comment. So I'm not going to discuss a specific facility for, uh, for privacy and confidentiality purposes. Every day this week, I've continued to ask the state health department about concerns over a lack of testing at nursing homes, a shortage of PPE, and frustrated family members who say it feels like their loved ones are being written off. And again today, the state health secretary chose not to answer our questions at her daily public briefing. I'll keep asking. Angie Moreski, 11 Investigates. All right, thank you. If you'd like to see Angie's previous investigation and our coverage of the issues we've been tracking at our area nursing homes, check out our special coronavirus section on our WPXI-TV News app.